Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of A Seat Apart Real Reviews. On this week's show we're going to review the movie The Hurt Locker. Every once in a while a movie sneaks up on me and I wasn't able to see the previews and didn't read anything about this movie. Uh, I literally just went on a wing and a prayer in the middle of the afternoon and let me tell you I was not disappointed. This movie delivered. It was uh, the explosive action brought to you by director Catherine Bigelow who is the ex-wife of James Cameron and it was written by Mark Boll. Although it was a fictional movie, it was based on his real-life uh, daily journal diaries. Well, he traveled around the Iraqi war with uh, Bravo Company, who was an explosive team dismantling and dismembering bombs over there in Iraq. And I'll tell you, this whole movie, uh, it wasn't a documentary, but it was shot documentary style. It was just very, very gritty. And I felt like I was right there in Iraq, traveling around with these guys while they uh, disarmed and dismantled bombs. On the edge of my seat the whole entire time, literally felt like I was having an anxiety attack. Uh, definitely one of the better movies of the year that I've seen and can only imagine that Billy's gonna think the same. Billy, what did you think about The Hurt Locker? The Hurt Locker, so far in 2009, is the movie of the year. You might not know about this movie now, but you will. Um, it's a war movie. It's already won multiple film festivals. It's won the Nantucket Film Festival, best uh, screenwriting. Uh, Catherine Bigelow, who just does an amazing, amazing job in this movie. She's already won a few uh, awards in different film festivals. I think she won the Venice Film Festival for Best Director. Can't say enough about this movie, the job she did. Uh, really, really gritty, like Paul said. This movie is as intense as any dramatic thriller you'll go see. It's even as grotesque as some slasher flicks. Jeremy Renner is the star of this film, and he does an amazing job. You know, he portrays this kind of a loose screw soldier who has to dismantle these bombs on the side of the road in Iraq. And uh, Catherine Bigelow portrays this. She gets you right in the action throughout this entire movie. This movie also stars Guy Pierce, David Morse, local Massachusetts guy, and also Ralph Fiennes. And all three of these guys, are, they're big name stars, and they play, uh, you know, maybe smaller roles in this film, but they do an incredible job. And again, you may not know this movie now, The Hurt Locker, but you will know this movie eventually. Catherine Bigelow will absolutely be nominated for an Oscar. It's just a great, great, great movie. One of the better war movies that has come around in a long time. It's one of the best American films this year. Check out Time Magazine, Newsweek. All these magazines and critics are, are just saying the same thing. It's five star. Gotta go see it. Go check it out. Hopefully it'll be in wide release soon. But uh, Paul Forty, I think we're both in agreement here. This is an awesome movie, and so far it's one of the best movies of 2009. Back to you, buddy. Thank you very much, Billy. Couldn't agree with you more. Everybody should get out there and see the movie The Hurt Locker. Explosive action. This movie was indeed the bomb. Hey. Until next time, I'm your host, Paul Forty, for Acetapot Real Reviews.